Hi, Bill Barber from Polygon here. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to properly set up a Polygon HDR in 3ds Max with Octane. Okay, so this is the scene that we're going to be using. It's a simple scene of a house. There's no materials used at the moment. Uh, it's We're focusing on the lighting today. So it's just a, a clay model. And I have a camera in there, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So, let's talk about lighting. I'm going to load up the material editor here. And we're going to bring in an RGB image. There we go. And what we'll bring in first is, uh, these, these are the files I've recommended downloading. We've got a 16K HDR, a 2K, uh, uh, sorry, EXR I should say, um, and a 16K JPEG. Now, first we're gonna look at really basic lighting, which is just, uh, we're gonna use the high resolution 16K EXR. One of the downsides of using this though is the file size is massive. Um, you'll be talking somewhere around the three gigabyte mark in terms of memory usage to render with this just for the HDR. That's not counting any textures or geometry or anything like that. Just three gig just for the uh, for the lighting, which really isn't ideal. Um, I'm going to set that to override and hit open. Okay, so our map's loaded in, and I'm going to call this EXR16K, just so we can keep track of what we're doing. And I will need to change this gamma down to 1. There we go. Okay, so the easiest way to set up lighting is to go to the environment, like so, and just drag this image into there. There we go. And now if we hit render, we should see a, a lit up scene. Yeah, so that's working well. And if you just wanted to go for a really quick lighting setup, that's you done. However, there's a couple of problems. Um, one, the, uh, the as I mentioned, the, the memory is insanely high. Um, uh, memory usage, sorry. And two, the currently the background we're seeing is limited to whatever we've got our lighting set up for. So if I say, for example, I'm just gonna turn on, I'm trying to be sparing with using the uh, the Octane interactive render because it's been crashing on me a little today, very frustratingly. So I'm going to limit usage of this, but we do need it really for sorting out our texture. There we go. I'm just going to jump back to that viewport. <laughs> um, and now from the transform, we can use this translation to rotate around until we get some lighting that we want. Now I'm just paying attention to the lighting at the moment not what I can see in the background. And I like this. I, I think that sort of lighting looks looks ideal. But what isn't ideal is that big building in the background and possibly that tree as well. So yeah, um, what I'm actually gonna do is, I'm gonna stop the interactive render before it crashes on me. <laughs> uh, right mouse button and re cut, remove that from the environment map because we're not gonna use this method. What I'm instead going to do is go over to lighting and octane and use a octane and uh, we we'll use the daylight one it's not really ideal but it does the job and I'm going to create two of them like so now what we're going to do is set up a low resolution EXR on this one and that will provide our scene lighting and then a high resolution JPEG which is still relatively small in terms of memory usage uh, on this one to provide our backdrop and then we'll have control over them separately. So let's set that up. I'm going to again bring in a RGB image. This one's going to be our 2K EXR. So let's call it EXR 2K and I'll feed that into this first light. I'm going to change it from daylight to texture and then feed in the texture map like so and remember to change the gamma down to 1 and that should be it at least for the lighting. Uh, the second one I'll turn off for now because we're just focusing on this one I'm going to save <laughs> um, and restart up the interactive render. Uh, 
And there we go. So now I just have to, I should have left the transform in there really, but hey, I forgot. <laughs> just get our lighting back to where it was that we liked, which was about hmm, something like that. And now our 2K uh, EXR is providing our lighting. And the lighting itself actually looks really good, but what you will notice, because of the lower resolution EXR, the background now looks kind of blurry, uh, and obviously we've still got the problem this building looks somewhat out of place. So, let's bring in our other image. If I can remember where the node is. And for this one, we'll bring in the 16K JPEG. And we'll name it as such. Okay, so this is going to power our other uh, light here. We'll feed that into the texture, like so. Uh, that needs to be a texture as well. And what we're going to do is change that from main to visible. Okay. And also enable backplate. So this will now replace the background lighting. So if I go to this one and turn it off, now that we've got the uh, the primary lighting switched off, and this is set to visible and backplate, we're now just seeing our background image, yeah? So what I can do now is take the transform from here, and this time we're just paying attention to what we can physically see, yeah? We don't need to pay attention to anything else. So, Actually, gonna see if overriding the no, that just makes it brighter. I just think the background's looking a little bit brighter than it needs to, but anyway, that's a tweak we can save. So I'm just adjusting the translate now to make it so the the I've just got a nice clean sky backdrop, which is nice high resolution as well. Um, but it's not, as you can see, affecting our scene lighting whatsoever. So I'll turn that off, and now. If I turn this one back on, this will now provide our lighting. So when I hit render, we should have a nicely lit scene, but with a nice high resolution backdrop whilst not using up too much memory. And there we go, perfect, exactly what we were looking for. So in summary, we've downloaded some HDR files from polygon.com, used a low resolution EXR to light our scene, whilst using a high resolution JPEG to provide the backdrop. And all of this was rendered out with Octane.